What's going on guys? Adam again back with Atomic Garage and today we are going to be working on the interior of the BMW and trying to make it look a little bit better than how it currently is. Coming up in this video. So guys, as the intro just stated, we are working on the interior of the car, which is something that I've been neglecting, honestly, for a little bit. And right now, the interior isn't horrible. Now, it could use a good cleaning, and I'm going to have uh, someone do a good cleaning of the interior. But in the meantime, there's certain things on the car that is really annoying, and I don't really care for how it looks. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, inside of the BMW, and while it looks good for the most part, there's a few things that kind of burn me up just a little bit. And excuse the dirt and stuff, it just shows that I use this car. And I'm gonna get these seats really cleaned and shampooed and stuff, and it's gonna make them look a hundred times better. But in the meantime, there's two things that stick out here. One, this is this red color here that looks very hot boy and ricey, and I really don't like how it looks at all. The second thing also I see is look at this shift boot. I can put my hole inside of that shift boot. It doesn't look all that good to me. And one thing that I else that I'm gonna try and do is this shift knob. Look at it, it looks, it looks nasty. It looks old, it looks used. So what I want to do is I wanna see if I can possibly restore this shifter handle and make it look just a little bit better. So we're gonna see how that turns out. So what we're gonna do to start is replace this shift boot and replace this e-brake boot and make this car interior look better along with painting this cigarette lighter and the cup holder coin spot, paint those black, and I think it would make the interior look so much better. So let's get started. So guys, the solution that I have for the shift boot is actually a product that I bought off of eBay. And these are genuine leather shift boots here. Now I've got three of them because when I first ordered them and it was like 28 bucks for genuine leather and it's also got the uh, BMW M style uh, stitching to make it look nicer. I'm not trying to make an M style car. This is just mostly the products that are offered is to make your car look like an M. I got it because I think they look great. Anyway, these are genuine leather. They look, they feel wonderful, they smell, they smell just like real leather. And I think these would look really good and place these stitchings where you can see it along with a clean, cleaner shifter knob. And man, it's gonna really set this car off in the right direction. So let's go ahead and get started disassembling the center section and start pulling pieces out so we can see about painting it. Right, guys as you can see that the interior is pretty stripped out and cleaned up here does need a little bit of cleaning i must say so but overall everything came out pretty easy and i don't see any further uh components that are broken or damaged or anything like that under it looks pretty good just need a good cleaning so i'm going to show everything that's pulled out and how they look currently so piece by piece guys, here we have it. This is another little door piece that's on the little center console area. Of course we have this that's under the radio and it's been painted all over pretty good. So I'm gonna need to scuff that up pretty good as well. And who knows, maybe, the, maybe it came these colors. I have no idea, but I doubt it. I highly doubt it. So changing them back to black from red is gonna be a little task, but hopefully several coats of paint will make it look a whole lot better. We have the shift knob right here. Doesn't look awful, but we wanna clean it up. And I even thought about getting another shift knob from Condor Speed Shop, but that shifter was, that shift knob was about a hundred bucks. And I didn't think that it was truly worth it of that price, at least to me. It may be to someone else, but to me, not so much. Uh, the e-brake handle here just could use a nice, good, thorough cleaning just to restore it to a nicer finish. Then we have the e-brake boot that you can see here. It's also showing some wear and tear, and we're going to do everything we can not to break the plastic that's inside of it. And then finally, we have the actual transmission shift boot here, and that's going to get cleaned up with the new shifter, and it's going to look a whole lot better. So let's get started. Hey guys, 
right, so we are making some progress slowly but surely. We have the e-brake one that's already on and done, and I think that looks pretty good. Done as in at least form fitted onto the little plastic trim. Now this one here is the one that's making a little bit of fuss, which is the shift boot plastic piece. Now, once I get this little, this small shift boot onto there, I can go ahead and start gluing in the edges and that can start to sit and seal. I'm gonna work on that, but as you can see, the sun is going down therefore i don't have a whole lot of time so what i will do is go inside and finish glue these in and i will take my trim pieces and all those stuff inside as well and start sanding those down and prepping those for paint and i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll go ahead and paint it so see you then so we are back guys it's another day and we are trying to paint all of this up and make it look better i went on ahead and tried to sand it and clean it up but whatever the person who painted them red, whatever paint they used, man, that's some, that's some good paint. But anyway, I've got some 98 cent Walmart black paint that we're gonna use, and then we're gonna clear coat on top of it. Hopefully, it'll make it look a whole lot better. But they actually did a pretty decent job, and it took me forever to sand it and try to prep the surface a little bit. So, let's get into painting. I just started trying to paint this thing and the paint is reacting negatively to what was painted before whatever the paint was used before so that's not good so now I need to find a way to go ahead and completely strip off all paint I guess from this thing so now it's about to get real fun. back again and I had to clean everything off and I primed everything is just the first coat and I ended up using some of this dupli color primer sealer that I have here. It's to go on after some primer, but it's, I'm using it as a primer itself. And I think, I mean, pretty good coverage for just the first layer. I'll give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna flip it over. Don't really care about the bottom side that much, but I just want a nice uniform, even place of layer of paint. So when I flip it and start painting, then it'll look pretty good. So let this dry for a minute and we'll keep oh, going. Guys, we are back and it's been at least a week and I am back messing with those parts again that I tried to paint. It turned out horribly. Started cracking up and everything. I didn't want to take any pictures. So now I've got some of this aircraft paint remover for flexible paint, plastic rather. Sprayed it on there. I'm gonna rinse it off in a few minutes. Get it all cleaned off, scuff it up again. Then try some uh, adhering agent and then I will spray it again. It's taking a little bit long, but hopefully it'll actually look good because the car is coming together really nice. And I wanna keep that theme going on a budget. So let's see what happens. Well guys, as you can see, I got the interior back together. And honestly, it only took roughly two weeks. I know the last couple of videos, it seemed like everything been kicking my behind, but it's a little bit of that and a lot of not having enough time to really dedicate and do to it. So the interior looks a lot better, but there are certain parts of this car that still doesn't look good. Let me show you exactly what I mean, because painting this interior pieces were a straight Nice. This is the cigarette lighter and ashtray, which I don't smoke, so it doesn't do me any good. But you can see fingerprints right there because I thought it was dry after like a day and a half, and it wasn't. Then this, all of this is the old uh, stuff that I was trying to clean off and scrape off, and it looks awful. So I'm not going through this process of trying to paint these interior pieces again. What I'm just going to do is just replace them, honestly. But they will do just at least for the time being. Also, the cup holder. The cup holder looks okay. It, it looks all right. But what I am suspecting is that the red that was here was actually from the factory, which sounds crazy because when I got aircraft 
uh, part stripper, it would not strip the red off. It would only strip some of the paint off. And that whole process was a nightmare. Also, this little back piece right here doesn't really, yeah, it looks all right, but it looks it looks terrible, honestly. So I'm gonna be looking to replace that and this piece right here so this interior can look a whole lot better. And I still have to do this right here. I finally got some of the, those three clips out, but man, I, I gotta find a way to fix that because I am truly tired of looking at it look like that. So that's a little annoying as well. But honestly, guys, overall, I, I like how the leather looks and it took some time to get it, but you know, it looks good. I just wish that this trim wasn't facing forward. I wish I could see it facing this way. Also, the e-brake fits perfectly. It looks wonderful as well. Now, one thing I do want to add is a different shift knob. And if you saw in that time lapse, looked like I was trying to beat down a, a different shift knob. And that was a shift knob I actually had in my toolbox for years and I just forgot all about it. It's a nardy shift knob. The only thing about it is one, it doesn't actually fit this uh, shifter here. And not only that, uh, also on the top, it's got one through five and then it's got a reverse on the wrong side. Little stuff like that, kind of annoying and I don't want that and it's been cleared over it. So it's not like I can clean that off or anything. So I will probably find a different option. But this is exactly what I wanna do. Let me show you. While I do like the shifter and I like how much throw I have and stuff like that, but I want it to be a little bit taller, honestly. And I want a wooden shift knob. Now I was on Instagram and I was uh, getting in contact with one guy. He still hasn't returned my emails yet. Um, and I'm getting contact with another guy as well. I really want a taller shift knob. I mean, at least another two inches up. I want a shift knob at least that long or so so I can have a little bit higher to reach off of. Cause one, I like to do the radio and stuff, even though this radio is going out cause I don't never listen to the radio in here. I want to lift it up a little bit, kind of get back to the steering wheel when you're shifting and things like that. Really that's more for racing, but I'd be trying to hot rod my little four cylinder around. So I would like a custom wood one and everyone that I see, they cost, you know, a hundred, 150 bucks. And I don't think they're really worth that much. Like I feel like, and again, it's the ultimate cheapskate do it DIYer here, Adam speaking. But I believe that I can put it on a lathe and turn a little block of wood and make what I want. So if I can do it, I'm pretty sure that they could do it for an actual reasonable price. And I'm not trying to pay, you know, 80, 100, $120. But anyway, that's just my little thing that I really want to look into. Just these small wood pieces around the car that'll actually kind of accentuate the roof rack once you look at the car as a collective piece of art well guys that will be it for me today i will catch you guys in the next one i don't know what video i'm gonna make next i don't know but you guys will be here for this whole shebang if you like the unfolding of a three-week video as this is with a bunch of empty spots again i apologize please like this video also hit the subscribe button if you are new i think we just passed 1900 subscribers which is which is a really big number which you know i did a lot of harbor freight in the beginning and i still plan on doing harbor freight uh videos the thing about it is i don't buy tools unless i need them and right now i don't really need any tools so it's kind of hard for me to just spend money and review something that I'm I'm not going to end up using. But I'll try and see if I can get back in there. There's a couple things I could use. Probably could make my job a little bit easier. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Ah.